Welcome back everyone to Joseph Rossback Photography um, Online Digital Workflow Training. Um, in this quick episode we're going to talk about using blending modes and layers to increase the density and skies um, for a little bit more drama. And you can see in this shot from the Pendleton Overlook uh, Blackwater Canyon, Blackwater Falls State Park, I have a lot of drama in the sky but we could we could really bring out even more drama in this fog and in these these uh, storm clouds that were just beginning to break up by doing a few quick adjustments um, inside of um, our layers palette. And we're going to start off by creating a duplicate layer. So we're going to go up to layer, duplicate layer, and uh, we'll name it dramatic sky. Okay. <clears throat> so there we go. Now you can see that it's just it's a blank layer. There aren't any adjustments that are made to it. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and change the blending mode from normal to multiply. You see the drama that it brought out in the sky? Now it darkened the entire image overall, and we don't want that to be the case. So we just want to apply it to this area in the sky. And if you look at that and you think about the color of the sky, it's mostly blue. So we're going to go ahead and add a channel selection to this adjustment layer by going into channels scrolling down to the blue channel and then dragging that into the channel selection box and you'll see it'll put marching ants around the image where it's going to apply the adjustment. We'll go back up and click on RGB and then move back into our layers dialog box. And All we need to do now is just click on the mask tab. okay? And you can see that right off the bat it has already darkened the blue channel in the image. Now I don't like what it did down here to the rock but I do like what it did to the sky. So I'm going to have to go in and make a few adjustments to this, um, to this mask. And I'm going to do that by clicking on the mask and first of all going into Image Adjustment Levels. And I'm going to slide this up a little bit to intensify that sky. You see that? I brought out a little more drama in that sky. We'll hit OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and hold down the Alt key and click on the mask. And it's going to show the black and white version of the mask here. And I'm going to simply grab my paintbrush, fill it with black, and then just go in and paint black over this rock or any part of the image where I don't want that multiply adjustment to take hold. Okay? I'm just going to roughly paint it over. So it's not going to allow any of that to show through. And I didn't really want to darken the canyon walls too much, so I'm going to kind of paint them as well. Okay, just like this. And then hold down the Alt key again and click back on the mask. And we can look at the eyeball tool to see the before and the after. Now, we're going to need to go in here and lighten this a little bit. So I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 50% of the, reduce the brush opacity to about 50% and then go back in here and paint back in this middle area and along the ridge line. Okay? Just like so. And then look at the before and the after. And that's our dramatic sky using a blending mode as a layers adjustment. And once you're happy with that, you can simply go ahead and flatten the image and you can go in and apply any other adjustment layers that you might want to, like curves, levels, hue saturation, selective color, whatever have you. Okay? So thanks for this quick little episode. I hope that gives you some food for thought. Next time you're working on some of your uh, landscape images and you want to pull out and darken the sky and make it a little bit more dramatic, you can always use this technique. It works pretty well for most landscape images. Okay, great. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you on our next podcast.